why does my name Jane have the suffix 108? And also, what does 108 mean? This has been a, a recurring question. So I put together a few slides here. So I'm asking the question, how I got my name 108? And you can see here, as a youth, I've always been writing books and poetry and investigating mathematics. So 108 in a nutshell would be, it's the living mathematics of nature. It's our connection to the mysteries of the counter-rotating fields of pine cones, which have a numerical signature of 8 to 13. So you can see in the pine cone here, it has 8, 13. And that this, the, the ram's horn, the golden spiral, is also mathematically derived by the Fibonacci sequence. So I believe that the Fibonacci sequence is the key to all the mysteries of science. And when we apply what's called digital compression, where we keep reducing these big numbers of the Fibonacci sequence to single digits, it's called continued subtraction of nine, because nine is the key, we end up with an infinitely repeating 24 code. And those 24 numbers of single digits, when you add them all up, add up to 108. So this thing called 108 became a Shri or holy 108 because it's, it's about an infinity connection that can be defined by recursion or repeatability. So the ancient Indians found a, a mystery a, a solution to um, pattern in, in the universe and it exists at all scales in the macro and the micro and they hid this knowledge in the, in the songs. It was a master dis disciple student relationship. So in this famous chant, Holy Vedas, it's called the Gayatri Mantra where they worship the five elements. So the Gayatri Mantra was the 108 code because it was made up of 24 syllables and when you added up all the syllables the letters like A is one, B is two, C is three, that's gematria. It also added up to 108. So there's a direct connection between 108 and the ancient wisdom. So in a nutshell too, what I'm interested in is that the, to explore 108, we have to, um, we have to look deep into the mathematics of the pentacle because when the, the five-pointed star, which is the mathematics of every protein in your body, means the Shri 108 connection has a connection to our cellular memory. So this is called fractal pent, when the, when the pentacle reduces at the rate of 0.618, which is the golden ratio. So i um been teaching around the world. I started doing this around in 2000. And um, 10, I put this book together, which is the first encyclopedia. So this is pre-internet days. In 2010, I had um, been collecting all this information on Sri 108. So if you look at this book here, um, I'm just exploring all the different meanings of 108 from the magic squares that add up to 108, magic squares from many cultures, um, the angle of 108 in the Pentagon, um, the three-dimensional shape. So there's so much information that's embedded in the um, mystery. So where did I get this information from? As a teenager, I was on building sites. So um, with Arabic parents, I was building all my life. So I learned how to um, do concrete cubic meters and tiling. And so at a young age, I've always been building and creating. So that's where I got my ability. And the real story starts in 2005. I joined a Vedic Maths newsletter, How to Do Rapid Mental Calculation. And from that, I did the first DVD in the world on speed maths. And I became email buddies with this beautiful boy here called Kranti Kiran. Um, and he took me to a place in India, which is like the Silicon Valley, called Hyderabad. So Kranti was like a walking computer. He was the world's best. And we became buddies. And he introduced me to... He introduced me to a conference where I had to go through high security guards like Silicon Valley. And I got to lecture on um, the mathematics of the pentacle and how the pentacle embedded within itself created the Sri 108 degree angle of the pentagon. And these are the India's top mathematicians. So this guy here in blue at the front, he organized two, 300 mathematicians, thanks to Kranti's worldwide fame. And from this, I got a standing ovation because no one before had ever discussed the mathematical derivation of where the number 108 came from. So I'd never had a standing ovation before. So I started to receive letters. So when I came back from Hyderabad in 2005, I started receiving letters where they said, thank you, Mr. Jane G. G means kind of like sir. 
and they also tagged on the name 108. So I was being called Jane 108. So I never adopted this name for egotistical reasons. This was a, a genuine um, addition to my name because people from India, the top mathematicians in the world, started calling me oh, Dr. Jane and Professor Jane, but the, the, the name Jane 108 stuck. And that's how I earned this name. Um, yes, and just for those that want to know more about the mathematics in one more minute, would here's the Fibonacci sequence. You start with zero and one, you keep adding the previous digit. Uh, zero and one is one, one and one is two, two and three is five. It's actually a trinity. So the, the Fibonacci sequence is based on the past plus the present creates the future. The three plus the five create the eight. And here's the numbers of the pine cone, eight plus 13, 21. And, and you can see here that I've written a 24 code. The wheel of 24 is the Fibonacci sequence that's been um, compressed down to single digits. And in a nutshell, 108 relates to the mysteries of our cellular memory and to the mathematics of nature. So the pentacle is a really important shape that we need to study in sacred geometry. When you write, here's another expression of 108 code. So if you write the Fibonacci number 0112358437184318, if you put, the, there's, it's actually 24 digits in a single line, I've put the last 12 under the first 12. And if you look at the 12 columns now, what do they all add up to? Three and six, five and four, eight and one, they all add up to nine. So 12 nines are 108. So this is the, the code, I'm calling it the phi code, the 108 code, because this is timeless. When I say um, the reason that it's called Shri, the reason that it's called Shri, it's not because it's a religious thing. Shri means holy, but the, the reason why it's called Shri is because it's something that is timeless and permanent, that's the, the definition. And you can put the 108 code in a circle and you can see that the opposite points, one and eight is nine. If you go through the center, five and four is nine. So it's a masterpiece of mathematical inquiry. And the reason we love it is because it's based to our connection with Mother 